Hi, my name is Rob Scott from UC Today and welcome to another Microsoft Teams focus session. I'm joined by Tom Abuthnot, UC Solutions Architect, Microsoft Certified Master and MVP. And today we have a special guest, Phil Fry, who is VP of Product Strategy at Verint. So welcome everybody. Just to give everyone a bit of a, an overview, uh, in today's session, we're going to be delving into the world of Microsoft Teams recording and how Verint are leading the charge when it comes to uh, the latest secure, you know, security and, com and compliant recording. So Phil, as our special guest, would you mind kicking off with a quick bio? Uh, no problem at all, Rob. So yeah, again, hi, I'm Phil Fry. Uh, I own the go-to-market strategy for or Verint Financial Compliance. And obviously within that, uh, the latest offering is the Microsoft Teams. So my role really is to really understand what's going on in the marketplace, uh, obviously, the technology is working with the product team, but uh, the fun part is I really get to sit down with the clients, really understand what their needs are, you know, what their real pain points are, rather than just sort of producing a piece of technology, and then taking that back and working with the product team and the development team to produce solutions like this recording for Microsoft Teams. So, uh, yeah, it, it's a it's, it's really varied and uh, interesting job. Great stuff. Thanks, Phil. Hey, Tom. Uh... I suppose it falls on you to really set the scene from Microsoft's uh, world right now. You know, this, this is a hot topic. Could you just tell us a little bit about kind of where we've been re with recording and kind of bring us up to today and what's just happened? Yeah, sure. This, this is really big news. So up until now, we've had kind of what you would call convenience recording in Microsoft Teams. So I can, as a user, elect to record my meeting. If my admin says it's okay, it's on by default, I can click and record manually. And that is more about taking minutes, having a record of the meeting, sharing it after the event. That's one type of recording. But then there's a different type of recording, which is for compliance and, and certification industry regulation. So things like finance and others. And that is where I must record every call. And it's uh, often called compliance recording. Um, Teams hasn't had that ability, but now generally available, there's a Microsoft API, which third parties like Verint can tap into, which means that an admin can set that every one of my sessions must be recorded. Meeting, PSDN calls, peer-to-peer -peer VoIP calls, all of those will be recorded every time. Great stuff. And, you know, Phil, talk us through the importance of, you know, compliance uh, when you know, certainly when looking at things like, you know, Microsoft Teams in a collaboration environment. Well, as, as Tom said, I mean, uh, I think it's changing. The world is changing. I mean, if you look at many years ago before the financial crisis, really of 2008, I mean, you know, recording was there. Uh, people did, whether you call it convenience recording in those days or best practice recording, um, you know, most of the banks recorded. But at the same time, they didn't really want to. Um, there was no real uh, either benefit or pain for them if they did or not. Um, suddenly, of course, the, you had the, they said MIFID came in, Dodd-Frank came in after, after the crisis, and then along came the regulators and said, you now actually have to record. Um, again, looking at recording, and particularly in the financial industry, it used to be focused purely on the front-end traders. So it was a dealer board from IPC or BT, you know, multi-line, single device. Of course, again, the world has changed over the last few years. You know, that single device has suddenly become unified communications. And it's, you know, it's mobile phones. And it's suddenly not just voice. It's potentially video. It's chat. It's IM. It's WhatsApp. It's Symphony. It's Bloomberg chat. And, uh, you know, the, suddenly all these wonderful new channels, which give the banks advantage and allow their users to improve their own communication and thus improve their own capabilities, but of course, that brings a whole new raft of how do we secure and manage that? And they are not allowed to use those communications channels unless they are properly controlled and recorded. And obviously, recording is the very first step of capturing that data and being able to ensure that then it can be analyzed and utilized in other ways. So Tom, what are you seeing from the other side? What are the customers saying and what, the, what are their challenges when it comes to recordings? Yeah, so as Phil said, the world has changed a lot. It used to be kind of you would have people in a physical office and you could like tap the phones or dual stream the phones or have something local. With Teams and other UC platforms, 
you're potentially working from different devices, you're working in different places. So the, the challenge is capturing those sessions always, whether you're working from different sites, working from different places, and obviously with current world events, very rapidly everybody went out working. So we've been spending lots of time as a compliant organisations that had recording based on physical location, are having to find an alternate method to record people. And as Phil said, audio, video, sharing, content, it all needs to be captured to be compliant. It's not just audio anymore. Great. And Phil, uh, you know, how does this work? Can you capture everything that, you know, all, all, all modes of you know, communications within Teams? On, on Teams, not yet. Um, so really the, the first uh, delivery, the first GA, uh, we are able to do a voice video uh, screen share. The, the major part of the chat is coming in a second API release, which is uh, expected to come in July. Uh, and that should also include our ability. And again, we talk about the modern world to capture things like GIFs and memes and emojis. Uh, and again, this is the modern world, right? And we have to look to capture all of that because you know potentially people can utilize them to put down you know encrypted messages they don't want anybody else to see so uh, it is important to be able to capture everything superb um so we've got some more releases coming from microsoft that's going to enable that which is great um and and tom you know in terms of um you know recording can users actually kind of circumvent uh, being logged uh, or recorded nowadays or is this kind of pretty robust that you know you can't escape the recording you know the recording yeah that, that's the big difference between the, the kind of convenience recording and, and the compliance or policy based recordings the users have no control over it so the way it works on a technical level is there's a bot following you and your sessions and it's pulling all the media down from that session so users don't have any button or controls to turn it off there'll be a banner in the client saying this session is being policy recorded um, uh, and the users can't avoid it in any way I would say, of course, that uh, Rob is in the wider scheme of things, people can still always avoid it. I mean, at the end of the day, they can go out into the street, <laughs> pick up a burner phone and do. But, you know, the, the whole objective of the unified communications is to make it easier for them to communicate in a sensible way. You know, the fraudsters will always try and find a way. But definitely, I think with the UC world and the controls, it's becoming tougher and tougher. And it's, it's, it's almost like the cyber battle now. You know, we are, we're going into a different level of battle to ensure that, you know, we record for a good reason reasons but also you know for those that are trying to break the system and i guess at that point they've deliberately actively evaded the system so you're going beyond reasonable endeavors of the organization like they, they couldn't accidentally turn it off they have actively gone and got a different yep. phone absolutely phone, so uh, yeah you're right Tom. there's only so much you can do but the yeah. user couldn't accidentally turn it off yeah great stuff so uh tom phil i mean who wants to take this but you know how easy is it to deploy something like this do you want to take it from both sides possibly um i mean i'll i'll, I'll take it from my side and then tom obviously as as one of our our partners can talk about how, he, how easy you find it i mean we've made it easy to use and in fact if, if i go back and i hate to say it but i'll quote um Verence mantra, our, our whole objective is to simplify, modernize, and to automate everything we do. And we've made it as simple as possible. Um, if you uh, implement a you know, recording on Teams, obviously, depending on the size of the complexity, you know, if you've got one office and you know, 50, 60 users, strictly speaking, you can be up and running in a couple of hours. Now, if you're a major global investment bank with you know, 3,000 staff in 50 countries, whatever, then there's a longer time. But the actual physical deployment is very, very simple. And it's, it's really important now to, for, for that to happen because you obviously do want to ensure that once people are onboarded and people come into the company, you get them up and running as fast as possible. And I'll, I'll leave it to Tom to tell you how easy it is from a partner side. Yeah, yeah, no, it's definitely a lot easier than it ever was in Teams. So we've done this for years and years in Skype business. As Phil said, we've been a very part for many years. Skype, it, lots of the heavy lifting is on the partner slash uh, vendor side. So capturing all the SIP sessions, changing the headers, there's lots of techie stuff. With Teams, Microsoft have built an API for third parties. So actually you're flipping on some policies in Teams yeah. and pointing to the third party. And, and the nice thing is with Teams is we can deploy it in the customer's Azure, we can deploy it in a dedicated Azure tenant, we can deploy it in modalities Azure. So, so actually the infrastructure bit 
is, is as Phil says, way, way easier than it was now. That it's really just changing policies and settings on the tenant. It makes it way more flexible. Yeah. And I think Tom raised a good point there. The, you know, we talk about deployments. It can be anywhere. It can be, you know, fully on the client's cloud. It can be local premises. The only piece that has to be in Microsoft is the recording bot, but everything else can be wherever you want it to be. So obviously you can have a full Microsoft deployment using Azure, everything Microsoft. But if a client already has some uh, predefined storage or something else, they can still utilize that in with the system. It's, we're not saying, you know, here's a confined solution just for Microsoft. In fact, the record can be part of our wider recording platform so on your recorder you can be recording your teams your mobiles your dealer boards all on the same platform as well we've made it as yeah. simple as we can and that's one of the important that there's, there's a few certified vendors that's one of the important differentiators to look at is what the vendor can do beyond just teams obviously we're primarily a modality around teams but absolutely people have multi-vendor environments older pbx's different ip system dealers turrets you need to look at your business requirements and make sure your vendor of choice can tick all your boxes, not just teams. Superb. So, Phil, uh, when is it available? How do you take it to market and how can customers find out more? So um, I think I said a bit earlier, the, the first uh, announcement, well, the first GA was uh, May the 19th, about, about a week ago or so. So that went out. That is the, the calling API that enables us to uh, capture voice, video, and said screen share. Um, so that is readily available through our partners like Modality. Uh, it's If you want to come along and, and speak to Verint, it's obviously you can go onto our website, which is verint.com. Uh, we're also working closely with Microsoft uh, to try to get the IP co-sell. So I know that it will be available through Microsoft as well. So readily available, easy to, to come and talk to us. And uh, we're, you know that's uh, hopefully out there in the market. And uh, I'm glad to say that in the, uh, the pre-launch as well, we uh, went through a, a very strong uh, testing program with Microsoft where we actually had to get a certain amount of clients live. Um, so we've already got about a thousand users live, even though it's only just been launched. We have over a thousand users live with the biggest client already having uh, 650 licenses. So very easy to install and, and available now. Great stuff. So thanks for joining me today. Great to hear more about the very cool recording session and certainly more on the Microsoft's API side. So thanks to everyone for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed today's session, please do give us a quick like or a share on social media. It's always appreciated. And thanks for watching.